Welcome to this short video introduction of the Nixis Contact Suite. Nixis is a company specialized in the development of software solutions to structure, organize and optimize all your customer interactions. Today we will take a closer look at the different possibilities to configure the operations of your customer contact center. In this fourth video on the administrator module, we will see how to configure your interactive voice response systems or IVR. In the second video we have seen how to configure inbound activities and we are now going to look deeper into the system functionality to configure your various IVRs. IVRs are important part of the call flow logic as they let your customer interact with your system and indicate what are the necessary skills and conditions required to treat their demands. As an IVR is often used for pre-processing or post-processing a call, you can access the IVR setup in any of the call flow requiring pre- or post-processing. For this example, we will take one of the inbound activities of this demonstration campaign and show you how to set it up. In this inbound activity, you will find under the call flow tab the place where pre- and post-processing is specified. When the default IVR is selected, you will see that a little forward hour is activated at the end of the field. When you click on it, you can start specifying the kind of default IVRs functions that you will require. A real classic is that after a first basic welcome message, you will let your customer decide for a choice of languages and or a choice of menu options. You can decide to activate one or both of these. Next, the system will let you decide behind which key the language selection will happen. You will then allocate a specific prompt for each language and the corresponding key you have selected. You will see that a level indicator is given there with the famous dual slider that we have seen before. This allows you gain at this many option level to specify the minimum amount of that specific language knowledge an agent needs to have to answer this request but also the maximum it can have in order to search for the next available agent in an efficient way. The system will always look for the maximum level that you specify here to find a suitable agent and then go down in skill level offered up to the minimum level before declaring that no agent is available to take this call. Then, in the case you have chosen the menu option, the system will show you the keyboard to let you select the various menu options available. When this is done, you will then be asked for that specific menu option, a specific prompt for each language selected. For this option, you will then be able to specify to which queue this menu choice will be allocated and also the expected skill that is required from the agent side. Again, for that skill level knowledge, you will find the now familiar dual slider control. To finish, a summary window will let you check the configuration of your pre-processing default IVR. Simple, isn't it? Another important IVR function is the callback IVR. The callback IVR will be a specific version of the IVR system, allowing customers that are, for example, waiting for too long in a queue to be called back by the next available agent. The system will dial this automatically. When this callback IVR is edited, we first need to tell the system if the number shown by the caller ID can be used for the callback. Then, five specific prompts are required by the system. An initial announcement prompt, a request and repeat prompt for the phone number, an acceptance message and an eventual re-enter message for the customer. Then, once the phone number is secured by the system, a choice of suitable date and time options for the callback need to be specified. If, for example, you choose to ask the date and time to the customer, then a series of prompts will inform him that this call will take place as soon as possible, at a later date, and then date and time with eventual re-entry are asked to the customer. Finally, a validity prompt is played together with a thank you and we are sorry for the inconvenience prompt. A summary window lets you then verify that everything is well configured and there you go. Your callback AVR for this activity is configured. So, this was an overview of the IVR configuration possibilities of the Nixis Contact Suite Administrator module. We thank you for watching and hope that you will also check our other videos. 
Videos are available to give you an introduction to Nixis Contact Suite agent interface, on the supervisor interface, on how you can listen to recorded conversations and on the reporting possibilities of the Nixis Contact Suite. Do not hesitate to call or ask should you have any questions. Thank you and goodbye.